Okay, everybody, let's talk about measuring propellers. So here we are today and um, got everything kind of taped off so you don't see a whole lot of the secrets. But uh, anyhow, I have a fixture made up here that holds my dial calipers. And what I do, um, once I get the prop installed, I'll go out here and I'll measure this blade tip right here. Most of you have this type of uh, setup right here where you have a, a fixture to measure this, okay? So I, I take a measurement and I document what this measurement is right here, okay? So I may have, uh, I'll choose like size of the propeller to the right hand side and I'll take this measurement here, okay? Then I'll flip the prop over and I'll take another measurement here and uh, see what that is, document that as well. Get it right there on the tip. Uh, this may be uh, size uh, to the left over here, or it may be the manufacturer right here, okay? So I'll document what that is right there. I'll also undo this fixture, and I'll measure this gap I have between the hub, uh, the propeller, and the uh, strut barrel. And I'll take that measurement down as well and keep track of that, okay? Um, once I do that, I'm going to have something that kind of looks like this right here, okay? And uh, this is kind of my log sheet. So I have the day here, like we're at the World Finals, Friday, Q1. I'll generally put the date on that as well, so I'll know if it, what uh, year it is and stuff like that. I have the prop make here. Um, I'll list that here, the size of the propeller. I'll have how many passes were on this propeller um, prior to this run. And then I'll take my measurement. So let's say this first measurement right here was uh, 0.750, okay? And the size was to the left and the manufacturer was to the left-hand side over here, okay? And then I'll take another measurement. When I flip this around here, I took that measurement there. Let's say that was the size right here to the right. And that was my measurement here on that. My measurement here between the strut barrel um, and the propeller was 0.50, okay? So out of barrel is what that stands for there, okay? So that's before the run. After I make the run, I'll measure the prop again before I take it off the boat. You can see that the propeller moved up closer on the boat, uh, 10 thousandths on this blade here and 10 thousandths on this blade here, okay? So um, the blade stayed constant and uh, my propeller moved 10 thousandths closer to the strut barrel. So all those numbers kind of add up there. Now you may have it be, this one goes 0 0.65, uh, 0.765, this one goes 0 0.760, but these stayed the same up here. Uh, long as you don't have one that went 30 thousandths and the other one moved 5 thousandths and this only moved 5 thousandths or 10 thousandths, you know, you might see a weakening of one blade is starting to bend, okay? So I'll also put any notes down here like, hey, driver left on a solid six. The reaction time was a 0 .008, just so I know how this propeller reacts to some of the other propellers out there, okay? So that's generally how I do it. You know in top alcohol hydro, sometimes we get one pass on the propeller. Sometimes we get seven or eight. Usually I'm cycling out a propeller a weekend. Um, usually if it has more than eight passes on it, I'm starting to get scared of it, even though it might still be measuring fine. Uh, but generally I would say that five or six passes is my magic number to uh, really start being real careful. I also die check the prop and do some other propeller uh, checking techniques but uh, that's pretty much how I measure propellers at the racetrack between rounds. A couple of things you want to look out safety wise is you know make sure this plate right here is fully flush with the bottom of the boat. Our uh, strut piece right here does extend out over it to keep it from getting pulled down. Um, that's caused a few crashes. Um, nice big bolts here grade eight bolts there holding the, the uh, rudder on because i have ripped a couple of rudders off as well and then another thing you want to look for is uh right here make sure this part right here is not ripping out of your clamshell 
you know your rudder slides up in here a lot of torque on it and i've seen these crack start cracking out through here so you want to be something else to monitor there um as well when we look over here i don't have any light and hardware on the back of this boat I'm trying to keep it beefy um, another thing you kind of want to look for is this washer right here make sure it's bigger than your uh, heim joint there so you're not pulling the guts out of that heim joint there that's something you want to look for and then uh, make sure none of your heim joints are aluminum um, the boat i had before this one that's how we got it because it went through the lights and the gusts of the guy pulled the parachutes on it ripped the pants of the boat out turned out it had all aluminum heim joints in it and it just ripped them apart so this one here we went with the solid mounting system in it so there's no heim joints to worry about nice solid piece all right thanks for tuning in y'all take care